Hello everyone. Welcome to Dell Boomi training by Unobeats. In today's session, I'm going to give you an overview of our Dell Boomi platform. So in our previous session, we have seen how to create a Dell Boomi free data account for yourself. So in case you missed it, go ahead and go back and watch that video. And once you create a Dell Boomi account for yourself, you need to log into it. And once you log into a Dell Boomi platform, uh, this, is, this is how your homepage is going to look like. And I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of, uh, of, of the various options that you get to see in this screen because it can get confusing. So how do you log into a, a Dell Boomi, a Del Boomi uh, application? So you just have to type in URL, platform.boomi.com, and that would take you to a sign-in page. Enter your username and password. Hit the sign-in button. And the moment you sign in, you would be able to see a home screen. And within the home screen, you get to see various options that you can make use of. So if you click on this uh, Dell Boomi icon, so if you, if you are in any other screen and if you want to come back to a home page, you can click on the icon that would bring you back into the home screen. When you click on that home page, it would bring you back into the screen again. The, the home page. So uh, yes, uh, if you click on the services, these are the major services that Dell Boomi offers. So you can build a wide variety of integration tools using Dell Boomi. You can virtually integrate one system with any other system under the sun using a various options available here. You do have an option to do a master data management as well, like whether it is uh, employees or customers or uh, or suppliers, you can certainly manage all of them quite easily with the help of uh, MDH product. And we do have an API management feature as well available in Dell Boomi. So after you build the integrations in or integrations here, to make those integrations available to the third parties or or external systems, you need to deploy them. And uh, so that deployment of integrations. So once you deploy an integration, it becomes an API. So API management uh, feature would give you option to deploy the integrations and manage those APIs. So these two are quite critical. Any client who implements or who uses Dell Boomi as a key integration product, 10 out of 10 would definitely use integrations and API management quite extensively. The other features that you're seeing here, like master data hub, flows, task automation. So these are optional features yes they are used by set to two out of 10 customers but not all of them and we do have the concept of event streams as well in Dell Boomi. so if you want to uh, handle publisher subscriber if you want to build publisher subscriber kind of integrations in Dell Boomi, you can make use of event streams for it okay so if you have a scenario like uh, whenever an update happens in uh, one application if you have to send those updates to multiple destinations you can make use of event streams for it. And when you click on integrations, that will take you back into the, into the integrations page. And uh, yes, in this particular phase, this is where you create the required integration flows or the process. In, in my next session, I'm going to focus on this particular screen because there are too many options to talk about in this one. So we'll get into this individual integration screen and I'll give you an overview of this screen in the next video. So similarly, if you click on any of the other uh, other services that you see here, you would have options related to that particular feature. Say for example, if you go to API management, you would see everything that you need to know uh, about the API management. Like from this screen, you can basically uh, manage the APIs, you can publish them, you can uh, configure them and so on. And apart from services, you also see a discover option here. So when you click on discover, when you click on discover, you see that you are redirected to another URL called discover.boomi.com. And what's great about Dell Boomi is if you have to build some application, if you have to build some integration, you should not immediately start off with the integration build or a process build from scratch. Instead, you need to first come into this particular tab, see if somebody else has already done that particular integration build or a, or a process build for you. 
So if somebody has already uh, created an exact same integration or a process that you need, then there's no point in you wasting your time rebuilding it. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. So if you scroll down, you would be able to see, you would be able to see popular solutions that you can build using uh, Del Boomi. So you can use Del Boomi to integrate with any system for that matter. You can talk to Slack, you can talk to Google Drive, you can, you can integrate with Shopify. So you name a system and if you scroll down further, you would be able to see all the systems. So you can, uh, Del Boomi is basically an integration product and you can make use of it to interact with any of the systems that you're seeing on screen. ERP, non-ERP, or you have uh, even the even the utilities or the common tools that you use uh, in uh, in everyday work, the communication tools. So for most of these uh, most of these uh, products, you do have an easy option to connect a funded one. Okay, so whenever you get a new integration use case for client, before you roll up your sleeves and start doing the build, spend two minutes in discord.boomi.com, see if somebody has already built the solution that you need. And if somebody has already done it, then you can just leverage it in a matter of minutes. Okay. And uh, if I go back, so that's why it has, uh, it has been put out as a main navigation option because Oracle, sorry, Adil Bumi wants you to leverage uh, what, what all solutions are, have already been created by other vendors. And if you click on resources, uh, yes, if you want to, uh, if you want to view the official documentation of Delbumi regarding all the features or product updates, you can go to this particular link. And uh, if some feature in Delbumi is not working as expected in a client project, you can uh, go to the support app, raise a request, work with Delbumi support, get a resolution for it. And uh, when you're, uh, if you're stuck with an issue or if you if you want to understand maybe what is the best practice uh, for something or, or you want to know, or, or you hit a blocker and you don't know how to proceed further. So you're not alone. There is a whole, a lot of community of uh, people out there to help you. So you can uh, go to this community tab, you can uh, get into those groups and you can post your question there and you you can expect a response in a uh, in, in couple of days. And Del Boomi, do offer us official certification uh, programs as well. So just in case you want to get trained officially from Del Bumi, you can look at the certification parts available here. And apart from these options, we do have a labs as well that you can make use of. So whatever custom integration uh, templates that you have created or custom connectors, or uh, if you have created any custom spaces where you have deployed your integrations and made them accessible to the users. So from the labs, you can make use of or you can access these features. And the last option that you see is settings. Yes, from here, you can see the user information and the account related information. So if you click on user, I'll open it in a new tab. We'll just go back and open it from here. So you would be able to see the user information the first name, last name, address, and the password, you can update it if you want. So for example, if you want to reset the password, you just have to come in here, change the password or the email as well. And you also have uh, other uh, user-related information available here. And similarly, you also have an option to view the account-related information. Remember, I am the administrator of this particular account. And I could, you could see the, uh, see the role here. And, uh, Normally, whenever you do a Del Boomi implementation project or integration project for a client, you would have at least uh, you, you would have a team of uh, a few members working in it, and you need to create them as users so that all those uh, developers can access Del Boomi and uh, do the required thing. And how do you create users? You come into user management, create a new user from here, enter the email address, first name and last name, and you can uh, decide what level of access you want to give to that particular user. So do you want to make that user an administrator, which means you're giving complete access of your uh, of your Del Boomi account to that particular user, or you can give them access only to the event-related streams or only to MDM, Master Data Management. The most, uh, the most frequently used roles here would be standard user. So this is what we normally assign to the developers so that uh, those users can log into Del Boomi and do the development work. 
and uh, if if uh, supposed go live, you would have a support team to uh, to help for the input, to help the client with the production issues, and we normally have uh, assign a production support role to them, and we also have a normal support role as well. So these are the roles that you can assign to the users, and and the roles that you assign to the users would determine what level of access the user is going to get. Say for example, if I if I go ahead and create John as a user here, and if I give him admin access, when that user signs in, he would be able to see everything and do everything in the application. Okay, so that's about the settings option. And you have a quick help option again here. So you can uh, search for the communities and you, you, can, you can get a quick help here. And when you click on this message option, you will see two things here. A, you will see when your ex account is going to expire. Since this is a free trial account that I've created, it's going to remain valid for 27 more days. Uh, you wouldn't see this message in real time because in real time clients would have a normal implementation of Delgo, not a trial, a trial version of it. And you would also see what is the Atomsphere release that you are using and when it was updated. Okay. And you do have a sign out option. And if you go back into a homepage, so whatever options that I just explained, would be showing up here. So whatever six options that you see, uh, whatever six services that, uh, that Dell Boomi offers, so those same six services would be available here. And you also see the resources as well, whatever we have seen here in the resources tab. So those resources tab are also showing up here. So basically the services and resources, the same menu options are displayed here as the navigation icons. And uh, right below that, you would be able to see what all the, what, what all, uh, integrations that you have just created or what are components that you have just edited. You can see them in two different formats, a card format or a tabular format. So this is a quick overview of a Dell Boomi platform. In our next session, I'm going to get into the integrations track and I'm going to give you an overview of this, uh, this uh, integrations page. See you in the next video. Guys.